Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you the final Star Wars Obi Wan Kenobi episodes review. I guess it's part six. And honest to God, guys, I didn't know what to expect because, you know, with Disney on Disney Plus and all these things, for some reason, the finales always don't deliver. And me personally, I can tell you guys, honestly, I think it did its job. It was a good finale. Was it a great finale? No, it could have been much, much more, but it was decent, man. I must say, I'm really happy watching it. I'm glad I watched it. You know, just a little short. I thought maybe it'll be a little longer. But for what they gave us during the 50 minutes, Deborah Chow, it delivered. Um, you kind of see the final spoiler alert, guys. Um, confrontation. We did get that final confrontation between uh, Darth Vader, Anakin, and Obi-Wan. And it was good. You know, it really was. Was it what I expected? No, I expected Vader to really totally annihilate Obi-Wan, but he did get his ass kicked at the beginning, getting buried alive with those boulders and shit, and then Obi-Wan thinking about uh, little Princess Leia and Luke and stuff, and that he can't give up, gets up there, and he wrecks shop. That fight was excellent, some of the best, and the way he sliced up Vader's mask, holy shit, and you can actually see Hayden Christensen inside, and it kind of bounced from Darth Vader's voice to his and back and forth in the banter and the so I totally lost my friend then he's not it doesn't exist and then he says okay so he basically leaves Vader all wrecked up and says bye Vader or something like that right and he just walks away so that was okay you know kind of expect a little bit more but you know at the same time I was happy with what I saw like the visuals and shit it's always good with this uh Disney plus show guys um Love the way they, they kind of did the whole story arc. Even the Inquisitor, that uh, third sister or whatever the hell her name was, she was chasing Luke on his planet. And the kid fell and got hurt, but she couldn't go through with it. And then Obi-Wan ends up flying there right after trying to you know, see what's going on. So kind of a little redemption there. Kind of let down that maybe she'll die, but I guess she's going to survive and maybe become a Jedi after all. I don't know. But uh, that was okay. Owen... His uncle, Luke's uncle and stuff like that was pretty cool. Uh, Obi-Wan finally, you know, is allowed or decides to, you know, he's going to meet Luke before he kind of takes off and shit like that. And, and yes, we got a force go squag on at the end saying, you know what? You got a long way to go kind of thing. And I kind of expected. So if there's a season two, great. It looks good. And of course, he traveled all the way to meet up with Leia. Leia has her little outfit there with her little holster and shit like that. That was pretty cool. But overall, guys, a very safe episode, very predictable on many fronts, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think it was one of my favorites from all of them. I think maybe my second or third favorite from the six that we got. The only thing that sucked that it should have been longer. Like, that's what I expected, you know? If Stranger Things can deliver two hours and something, you know, just the last two episodes, part two, that's going to be dropping soon is four and a half hours longer than this whole entire Obi-Wan series. They could have done the same thing, but uh, overall, I'm very satisfied. I give it two thumbs up, definitely, <laughs> compared to that Boba Fett. Holy crap. But uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Anakin got his uh, redemption story arcade in Christensen. Wicked. I love the way it was, the special effects and stuff like that. I think they both delivered it. And even Ewan McGregor, holy shit, amazing job. I think he did good in Am I looking forward to possibly a season two? Hell yeah. I'll be down for it. If they don't, I'm still happy because you kind of had an idea that he's off going on his own little journey and stuff. And Darth Vader, you got uh, the the Emperor or something shows up there at the end. Palpatine or whatever the hell. I don't know what the hell his name is. I'm not Star Wars guy, so forgive me. He goes, oh, are your feelings going to be, uh, do you have a soft spot for your master? He goes, no, I only serve one master. You kind of thing. And the music of Star Wars plays and shit. That was pretty cool. But kind of be expected. But uh, it continues the journey, guys. Uh, overall, I think I loved it. You guys let the king know in the comment section below. Did you guys like it? Like, share, and subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Check out my other videos. And uh, whatever videos I may be posting here and there, guys, moving forward. You know, I know there's a lot of things coming up. The boys on Friday and whatever. But uh, check this out for yourselves. And uh, let the king know. Until then. 
Let the force be with you and definitely stay off the king's throne. Take it easy, guys. Be the hell good.